Why do you think the UFC gets so much flack for not paying their fighters? Because I don't tell anybody what they get paid. I don't tell anybody what they get paid, and guess what? Neither do the fighters. There's yeah. no gag order in place. It, these fighters can come out and say what they say exactly what they make. I yeah. just had a I just had a situation recently, and it was, it, I'll tell you who it was. It was Paulo Costa. Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he's a fucking lunatic. He acts like a lunatic, and uh, he came out publicly and kind of said what we what we offered him. Yeah. What are the terms for this one? Do you mind me asking? What would it be for this one? Uh, it's like a 65 or 70. 70 for 70. 70 and 70. Not, yeah. And and uh, I think so. are you saying to them? No, it, it, it's, it's not more than that. I, sure. I just 70 is not, is not an, uh, enough for that. It was the furthest fucking thing from the truth. Really? It wasn't true. And that, this was a while ago. I, I, this is the first time I've even talked about it. But it's just an example See, these guys will say stuff like that because they know I won't talk about it publicly because yeah. I really don't give a shit. You know, all these people that, that come out and say, oh, the UFC doesn't pay the fighters and they only pay this percentage of the fucking this, that, and everything else. We got an awful lot of people who sit out and, you know, don't. And, and, and he recently came out about an offer we made and it was the furthest thing from the truth. When you're sitting there and you're seeing guys like that say numbers that aren't real, that are obviously way lower than you actually offered. Right. Them, what makes you not bite your tongue? Because there has got to be a level of being a human being like, whoa, 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 we, we do right by our guys. Right. But what's the deal? Like, but, like but the, When you look at it, mm -hmm. look at how long. I've been in business for 23 years. How many guys have left? I just did a new A-fight deal with John Jones. Man, that's Who was cool. sitting out over money issues. I just mm -hmm. did a new A-fight. I just did a new eight-fight deal with Sugar Sean O'Malley. Um, and the list goes on and on. How many guys? The, the, the guys that leave are the guys that um, we're okay with them leaving yeah you know what i mean I the guys that. who leave are the guys that we're, we're okay with it mm -hmm. you know and i did deals with tito ortiz when we fucking hated each other chuck liddell who was the biggest star on the planet we always got deals done brock lesnar we got deals done yeah you never heard any of these people oh. complaining about their money right everybody wants more money that's that you guys want more money you guys aren't being paid enough i guarantee if we hey, say or noi <laughs> yeah and you hear my guy yeah yeah, yeah yeah we want more money in we do human nature everybody wants more money and i don't feed into the bullshit i don't feed into the uh the jake paul stuff well then well the, yeah the jake paul who, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's something that's small but it's like it's like the viral it's like a viral no, no, you're, you're, yeah, you're absolutely right yeah, it lives in the world you know, we live in yeah he he he, he keeps playing that whole thing you know uh oh we'll, we'll do right we'll, we'll treat you guys how many guys have left and went with jake paul <laughs> yeah. yeah right how many guys went yeah let's go with jake paul and fucking you know he's gonna pay us yeah right? it's just it's it's all bullshit it's all this narrative that i don't play into i, I you know the guys who fight here know, know that they, that they've been taken care of and you know and and it's one of these systems where the guys who actually bring all the value are the ones who, who make all the money yeah. You know, and the guys who don't, when you, when you talk about, you know, they always talk about this, this pay disparity between boxing and UFC. Yeah. There's, there's fucking like a handful of guys in boxing that make shit loads of money. The rest of the guys make nothing. And that's not the Fresh case. And clawing. With, for, yeah, we've got 800 long. guys under contract. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a lower level guy coming in, you work your way up. But these, these, these kids are all making really good money. When these guys hear some of these boxing numbers, first of all, most of these boxing guys that, that you hear that make all this fucking money, they're all in lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Mike Tyson's in a lawsuit right now for, for, for a fight that he didn't get paid for him here. And Wilder is probably really? about to be in a lawsuit here. Yeah, these guys all get in lawsuits because they never get paid. All these guys that I do deals with, they sign contracts. Mm -hmm. And this is a fact. Not only do I pay them what they're contracted to make, I actually pay them more than they're contracted to make. What, what makes you pay them more than what they were contracted to make? What so. and what in, uh, makes you want to pay these guys more if they have a contract? Yeah. Like as a business, as an owner of a business, why would you sit there and go, I'm going to pay this guy more than his contract says? I would call it incentives and bonuses because we, yeah. we do these, these, these post-fight bonuses. Mm -hmm. If your fight was unfucking believable and you blew us away, yeah. you know, there's usually four guys on the card that make $50,000 more. And the rest of the card, we, we throw them some more money too. So everybody on the card makes more money than they were actually contracted to make. That's a fact. Now, if we were talking to 
mainstream media guys. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have said one fucking word of what I just said to you guys here. You're a good man for that, and I appreciate it's that. It's just I, I, I don't play these little fucking pussy games that they try to play with me, and and that's what drives them crazy. And you know, so they can write all the negative stories they want mm -hmm. and and put put the headlines up there. I don't know if it gets some more traffic or what it does, but. It's all bullshit at the end of the day. Yeah, and I feel like this whole this whole game and, and is the end about of the relationships. Day is, this is my company. Who the fuck are you to tell me how to pay my people? Yeah. And if you don't like it, there's no barrier to entry. Go start your own MMA organization and pay them whatever you want. Many people have done it. Yeah. And it hasn't turned out too well for them. You no, know, you've we've definitely, run a real you've business. Cornered here. the market. Yeah. You have cornered that market. Of, we we, uh, we run arts. a real business. All, Here's the other thing, though. You come out and you pay a guy like. And I'm not going to act like I'm educated on this because I'm not. I don't know a lot about it. I've heard of it, but I don't know the ins and outs of it. But you take a guy, you guys, for instance, I'll, I'll use you guys as an example. I come out and I pay you guys $350 million to do, the, to do the same podcast, mm -hmm. right? Once you get that kind of money, it's fucking hard, you know, it's hard to to get people incentivized to get out and actually fucking work and, 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 to, and to grind. What's the incentive there when you make that kind of money? It, it, there's not a lot of incentive. Now, let's take it to, to another level. When you, when you are a, a fighter who gets paid to get punched in the fucking face every day, you know, Conor McGregor is a perfect example. John Jones is a perfect example. Amanda Nunes is a perfect example. Um, Ronda Rousey is a great example. I could go on and on for days about the people who've made massive money in this sport you get to a point where you're like okay i achieved what i wanted to achieve here right you got what you needed like the, the chip on the shoulder does very famous dwindle. i became a world champion mm. and have a shitload of money what's next